Norbar wanted to compare the vibration generated by the new torque with that of the traditional impact wrench. It needed to be an independent analysis carried out by a professional consultant under real operating conditions and a comprehensive report had to be produced. The consultant first analysed the hand arm vibration according to BSEN ISO 5349. An accelerometer measuring vibration in three orthogonal directions was rigidly attached to the hand or the new torque as close as possible to the operator's hand. The measuring instrument was connected and initial checks of satisfactory operation were carried out. These were repeated during testing to check for overload. The operator was then asked to tighten each of the wheel nuts of a commercial vehicle in turn while measurements took place. The instantaneous vibration value was monitored to ensure that the level remained relatively steady. The accelerometer was then moved to the gearbox, another position where an operator would hold a new torque and the whole process repeated. Each measurement was carried out for sufficient time to obtain an accurate representation of the vibration value. The analysis was then performed on the impact wrench, which produced much higher levels of vibration in both handle positions. Vibrating tools can be a health hazard. Vibration will also reduce the life of the tools and sockets. The Control of Vibration at Work Regulations 2005 came into force on the 6th of July 2005. For hand and arm exposure, it defines a daily exposure action value of 2.5 meters per second squared, above which an employer must provide health surveillance and a limit value of 5 meters per second squared. The HSE provides a means to calculate the cumulative EAV for hand tools used during a typical day. For the impact wrench, take the vibration figure of 18 meters per second squared and say two hours for daily exposure. The calculator produces a daily exposure level of 9 meters per second squared, which just for this tool is in excess of 5 meters per second squared limit, and a rating of 1297 points. For the new torque, however, enter 1.5 meters per second squared for two hours per day, and the result is only 0.8 meters per second squared, well below the 2.5 daily action value, and a rating of only nine points. The difference can be illustrated using this reckoner. It shows that the impact range is well above the limit value, but the new torque is well below the action value.